Today I'm going to be filling a spread in my sketchbook and I'm feeling especially inspired by, you might have guessed this, food. Instead of indulging in the taste, I thought I would indulge in the beauty and try and draw some characters based off of this treat. And for no other reason other than I just restarted watching the 1995 Pride and Prejudice, I thought we could stick to the Regency theme for their outfit styles. The Regency era isn't even in like uh, one of my top faves for like the fashion that they wore, but I will admit I like their little cropped coats. They kind of remind me of Hannah Montana. All right, I'm gonna try my best to make this character um, a man. <laughs> How else do I put it? I'm, I'm really gonna push myself to expand my boundaries here. <laughs> but to reward myself, I'm also going to draw a female character too. They can be siblings or something. I dropped my pencil, so now I'm <sighs> suffering the consequences. <laughs> okay, here's some very bare bones. Gonna give him something to stand on. There you go sketches of the two characters we're going to be designing today. For their outfits, we obviously, I'm trying to stick to this color scheme. So the colors we can use are green, red, looks like there's some yellow on the seeds. We have brown for the chocolate and then white for the icing. This is actually very similar to the color scheme that I've been using in my last two character designs based off of food, but um, yeah, it's not stopping me. It's not often I have such a good reference. I love this photograph. This looks delicious. I think I'll try and actually just draw one of these and see how close I can get the colors and the textures before we go into actually working on our characters. Let's go ahead and draw ourselves a strawberry. Man, they have a lot more seed holes than I like just, you know, think of a strawberry out of the top of my head. We get a chocolate. And then, oh, we gotta get the little fun icing. Ooh. I'll just like erase that lightly. Throw in some line art. This is my broken one. Why do I even still have that? While the seats look like they have a bit of like consistency to where they are, they're also a bit sporadic in their placement, which is tricky to replicate. <laughs> All right, so the shapes I'm seeing in here, I've got, there's lots of like straight edges, but then there's curves from the berry. I'm seeing polka dots. I'm also seeing stripes. There's a lot going on here to play off of when we move into the character design part. I just, I'm now I'm kind of worried I'm gonna like run into there being just too much to work from and then the character design being kind of sloppy. Going over first with this really saturated, vibrant red and use this darker one. I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. Start with the light color. Keep grabbing the chisel first. Even though it has this little gray thing to tell me. Do I look at it? No. <laughs> do I ignore it? Mm-hmm. I wonder if I can blend that out with the lighter color again to lighten, to just kind of smooth out some of those details I put in there. The problem I always have when I'm trying to draw chocolate is that I draw it way more saturated than it appears in pictures just because I don't have the right markers. Let's go over that then with the cashew and try to deepen the color because you can kind of see how this looks more red and that looks a lot cooler of a tone. So, yeah, see this is still too warm. It's definitely dark enough though. I wonder if I can go over it with like a cool color, like uh, maybe even like a cool gray. See if that pulls some of the saturation out. Ooh, I'm not seasoned in how to do this. Okay, well now it's getting too light. <laughs> so now I need to darken it again. So I might just have to go over it again with cashew. Yeah, see, look how much it's lifted. That's what it used to look like. That's closer. Now I've kind of <laughs> went over all of the icing, so I'm gonna have to try and use a gel pen for that. I think that was a pretty good experiment, finding out what the colors we're looking for. Um, so basically I need to decide if I wanna focus on more of the stripes, like with the chocolate, or polka dots, like with the seeds, because I can definitely see, like, here, let me draw a pretty quick sketch. I can totally see, like, a dress looking something like this. So you got poofy sleeves. She's wearing a little coat. It's got little poofs at the end. Then you have her long skirt. I keep wanting to say chemise, but that's not the term. Maybe you have buttons on this. Basically, I see the skirt being polka dots just because that's kind of something you see a lot in the BBC Pride and Prejudice. Those are kind of like the seeds of the strawberry. I don't know. Mm. See, now that's a tricky question. Almost all the skirts I saw in this show and even, let's see, online, 
Yeah, like the everyday sort of outfits are almost all very light colors, which is kind of keeping me from wanting to color this in red and then use white polka dots. So we could just re try and reverse that and do red polka dots on a white skirt, which I think is a little bit more historically accurate, but I'm also not really trying to be that historically accurate. I can do whatever to flip I want. I'm also seeing a lot of stripes in the fashion. So well, uh, could also go that direction. And obviously both these characters are going to be well off and fancy because that's what I want to draw. Uh, throw some quick liner down there so I don't lose the detail work I put in. Ideally they'd be a lot thinner than this, but I can't really <laughs> draw any smaller. So we're taking the white from this, red from that, polka dots. Ooh, we can do green. Do I want to give her a green coat? Kind of. Let's do it. But I don't want it to look too Christmassy. Maybe we should try and incorporate more brown. We could even incorporate brown stripes onto the green. But like for now, let me throw some of this brown up in the hair. She'd probably be wearing gloves so we can give her some brown gloves. That's not too shabby. It does feel a little plain, so we're gonna have to keep working on it. But let me put a little more attention into the guy's outfit. Cause I'd like them to look kind of cute next to each other. You know, like they're doing a family portrait. <laughs> Real boastful here. I've been kind of getting a little bit better at drawing the male body. It's still not my forte, but we're working on it. Hey, this is not jabby at all. All right, so maybe for the silhouette of the guy, I don't think I'll put him in too, well, a little coat, but not like a big coat. Let's do one of those where it like swoops up and then you see the vest underneath and then the vest that's underneath that comes up uh, probably up here a bit. It'll have the stripes. I love when that pokes out through the bottom. And then probably something big and fluffy near the neck. Uh, shoulders. Do they have like poofy shoulders? I don't know. But let's just uh, some arms in there. <laughs> Lots of hair up on the top of the head. And they'll probably have some kind of cuff. Hands probably wearing gloves. Does everyone wear gloves for some reason? Actually, I think I need to pull this up a little. Their pants were a little higher waisted than this. I think they had the like front section with the buttons. I could be wrong. I'll have to look that up. And then their pants, I think they were bigger on the top and then kind of got a little tighter. And then boots, yes, boots, boots, boots. Okay, now let me find a picture of pants. Oh, well, they did. Okay, but it wasn't like this pronounced. It's a little more subtle. It kind of just came from the top like this. And the buttons are on the inside, at least on this reference. There! Hey look, I'm drawing a dude! <laughs> look at that! Maybe some sideburns, some curls to match his sisters. Give him some cheeky bones. This is tricky doing two characters at once. Maybe if I just kind of keep the outfits similar to each other. You know, give them that like family portrait in the 80s sort of look. <laughs> Not too worried about the design right now, I just kind of want to figure out like colors and textures but we need line art first <laughs> i like this hair i don't know if that's anywhere near historically accurate but um uh, again sometimes i just don't care anyway okay <laughs> it's getting a little lazy with that i'm trying to save my uh my dedication to when i figure out the design and then i make one last drawing of everything <laughs> okay so for colors let's try should we do something really similar with this one? What if we gave him red pants? The problem with the red is it's gonna start looking like regimentals and I don't really... I mean, we could just embrace that, I suppose, but let's see how it looks without embracing it. I'd like to see like a green and brown stripe. Ooh, even the white and green kind of looks cool though. But let's try with brown first. Kind of gets lost in there. Let's do green pants because I'm trying to break free from what I did with his sister's design. I still think we're gonna run the risk of looking like <laughs> Christmas outfits with these colors. Ooh, did I want red down here? Don't have much choice right now. Did the men wear stripy pants? Cause I could like do something. Well, no, cause he has stripy vest. That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? I'll make his hair a little redder than his sisters. Oh, not this red. <laughs> now he looks like he's related to Wendy's. Go over that with brown. I kind of want him to smile. Yeah. Hmm, now what color for the coat? I mean, we have white. We could leave it white. 
Let's try copper. A bit redder, which kind of brings the red theme up here too. All the colors are pretty well separated. I think I want to see more texture. Like I have a lot of flat colors here. The only real textures like in the vest and you don't really see that. We didn't use any of the dark green either. One thing would be like shading. Nah. Neither of these really give me this sort of vibe. I think it's because I'm avoiding the red so much. And when you look at this, the first thing you think is strawberry. Chocolate covered strawberry. But it's a strawberry. So I feel like we definitely need to include a lot more red. I don't think this is going to be... This isn't going to cut it. We try again. This time we want to incorporate a lot more red is the, uh, the end goal. We'll see if that gives us any better results. There's some nice posture. Let's make them smile so that they look more like pleasant people. <laughs> I could try drawing them in more like um, party gowns. Then I feel like I have more freedom with the colors, especially for the female character design. Because I think they wore more colors when they were, you know, partying. We can also do something fun with the hair. I don't know if we want like a scarf or a feather. Uh, I don't know how to draw this. Uh, something like this, I guess. And then... Uh, Sir boy over here. They're sharing an inside joke. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> I draw so few male characters trying to draw them in a different pose other than this. You can kind of see those look very similar. It's tricky. I still don't think even if I go fashion, the, like the more fashionable outfits that uh, red would have been a common color. But uh, you know, take some liberties. I remember, uh, I don't know what sketch book that was. It was a long time ago, but I had like decided I wanted to be able to draw male characters. I didn't really actually want to draw them. I just wanted to be able to draw them better. So what I did is like a kind of a compromise to myself was I drew a bunch of like Harry Potter fan art and I always included Harry, Ron, and Hermione. That way for every two guys that I draw, <laughs> I'd reward myself by drawing a girl. It actually kind of worked for a little while, but it's kind of a similar situation to what I'm doing here. I want to draw this dude, but like I'm rewarding myself <laughs> by also drawing a female. <laughs> That's what it kind of reminded me of. So now she's got some stripes going on here. Is that something I want to continue? I should try the brown and white stripes. That way we're incorporating something a lot more similar to the strawberry. Because I think what really failed here is that it just looks so different from a strawberry that the idea is like completely lost. So maybe it's like a brown and white striped vest, brown boots. I could still do like a green pant. White shirt, cause I think that just makes sense. I don't see that being any other color. Let me draw one that'll be easier to color. <laughs> Trying the face a little bit different every time, but I like the hair, so the hair stays. <laughs> With the sideburns. With the sideburns, can't forget the sideburns. Everyone had high-waisted stuff back then. Shh. I'm trying to think what the difference was between like what they, their outerwear looked like and their, you know, party wear. I think it was more like this, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. There's that high waist I was looking for. Perfect for a night of dancing. I really like the sketch. I drew it so that it could throw color on it, but now I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> you know what? We can move over here. And just redrew this, redrew, redraw it on this man over here. And then hopefully I won't like this one as much so I can add color on it. <laughs> I'm thinking the way to not like it as much is just to do it really quickly so that I don't put too much effort in. Should I put the leg up here on this thing? <laughs> Whatever that may be. Okay, I'll just throw on some line art. Ooh, gee, my hands are getting dirty. Don't forget the sideburns. I almost did. <laughs> That's why I'm saying that. All right, quick throw in a little color on there. Gives me a weird Simpson vibe and I don't know what that is about. Let's make sure I don't color his skin yellow and hopefully that won't intensify. Okay, so I wanted more red and I wanna try to keep the stripes brown and white. If I want them to be more predominant, let's try to put the stripes on the coat. Draw really dainty. Ooh, I want these stripes to be thin. This is gonna make him look like he works at the circus. <laughs> but I'm committed now. I'll color the inside of the tail coat just straight brown. Then I'm gonna try and make the vest red. Try, I mean, I'm actually going to. There's <laughs> no trying. Mm, that's a very delicious red color, I'm not going to lie. I'll color this little thing red too, whatever that is, like the bow tie situation. And then what color? Oh, I had his hair, this color. 
Ooh, that looks nice. I like that little solid section. I'm gonna try adding polka dots to the red though. See if that looks like seed. Maybe if I drag upwards. Ooh, okay. That's not terrible. That's not bad. Make note of that one. We'll do the red boots. And I like the pants white. I think that's a pretty good look. But obviously we need to include some green. <gasps> I should have made the tie green. <laughs> Let me see if I can like blot that out with the Posca and let that dry and see if I can go over with the green. <laughs> if not, we'll figure it out. I don't mind the green pants either. I feel like they kind of, they look really nice with this little outfit, but I don't think they're gonna look very good here. I could give them like a green top hat. How would that look? <laughs> Looks like a mad scientist with this hair. Oh shoot, top hat, top hat. <laughs> Every time he wears a top hat, the girls will go, aw, dang. <laughs> Although in that era, they probably would have said something more like, It's no greater pity than when Mr. Whatever wears a top hat. Even his money seems less appealing. There's copper. Then the hat would end up being, I guess, green? Let's start with the light green. Could maybe build up from there. Oh, here I got it. There's no greater pity when Mr. Barry wears a top hat. And the world is only right again when he removes it. Or something or other. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Willy Wonka. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Do they have any sort of designs in their top hats? Like anything? <laughs> like a little, maybe like this? Let's just throw in some stripes. So I can kind of get a better feel. And his red vest thing peeking out through under there. Creating some color sketches, basically. <laughs> and then what if, was this dry? That green bow tie thing. I don't know what it's called. I keep wanting to call it a cravat, but I don't think that's accurate. They're not in France. Or maybe even the right time period. It honestly doesn't look so bad now that I've like incorporated the other elements, but uh, the pants, the pants situation. Well, if this is green and the hat's green, then the pants being green might not be that like unreasonable, you know? So I'm just gonna have to give it a go here. It's, oh, it's just getting close to that Christmas vibe, you know? Like they're gonna do a performance of the Christmas Carol. <laughs> this definitely solves the problems that these had with the not looking like a strawberry. I like the white dots on the red. I like the stripes with the white and brown. Leave the green maybe in the bow tie and the hat. That way it's like on the top of the strawberry. And then for the pants though, what do I do with the pants? I'll think about it while I just sketch in his sister here. Oh wait, she should be wearing a hat. They're in their outdoor clothes. Wait, what? Wait, he's not really in his outdoor clothes. Shoot, I'm putting her in the wrong outfit. <laughs> Want to be in a more party dress. Looks like a hamburger. Hamburger sleeves. Little flared hand. Cause she's at a party. And we can add some more texture at the bottom of the skirt. Since she's not trapsing through the mud in this. Wait, gloves, gloves, gloves. Not sure if I want to give any more detail to the skirt. I think I'm gonna try and keep it red with polka dots. Since he has the most minimal red on him. I think the red's too much. We go ahead and add some liner to her and throw some colors on her and see them next to each other. Not really sure what to do about the trimming down here. I know exactly what's gonna be green on her design <laughs> as I sketch in this feather. <laughs> so for her, so for her dress, I'm gonna try and make it red with the polka dots. I have a feeling this is just gonna look a bit much, but <laughs> I don't have much other choice. What color are her gloves? We can make those brown, maybe. I'm gonna just color them in really light brown for now, just so I remember that they're there. <laughs> uh, polka dots, polka dots. Oh, well, we can do the hair. No, she has copper hair, just like her brother. Do, 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 do. I know I want the feather to be green, kind of like the leaves on a strawberry. And she needs those white seed dots. Now the thing we're missing is brown, but I just do not really feel comfortable making the gloves brown. What we could try is changing these stripes on her dress right there to brown. That way we incorporate that brown stripiness. Could even color this in brown. Now I kind of could make her gloves brown. Ugh, no, I don't like this. It just looks dirty. I feel like they always wore white gloves no matter what color dress they had, so that was probably a bad idea, but what else? Maybe we could add, ooh, where'd the pasta go? 
What if we have like little stripes? Okay, that is not bad. I don't even like when I incorporated her big red dress, I don't hate the green pants as much, like seeing them next to each other, which I was not expecting. Would you look at that? Makes you think I could probably also get away with some brown stripes at the bottom. Oh, wrong brown, wrong brown. Got too many out. And then I could probably actually make them white stripes too, like that. Ooh, I think we're getting somewhere here. Our siblings. <laughs> now I kind of rushed those, so I'm tempted to grab like a separate piece of paper and like draw them again. It'd be kind of cute as if it was like uh, actually trying to be a portrait from the 1800s. So like maybe she would be sitting there up straight and then sitting, you know, so we're dressed that way. And then he's like standing behind her with maybe his hand on her shoulder or something. I don't know. What do siblings do with the 1800s? Make sure their heads end up being similar sizes, which will hopefully in turn make their bodies similar sizes. I'm really trying to like copy that one. That's my favorite version of him. Mr. Strawberry Boy. I guess they should look a little stoic if it's a portrait. Ooh, look at that face. It looks like she's had people beheaded. <laughs> Let me try the body again. This like hand would be here comfortably. Maybe if I pull his hand up a little, her shoulder could be here and then I would bring her head up here. Hmm, not loving the uh, layout of the characters. I should have thumbnailed this first. <laughs> I just jumped right in there, didn't I? Put her arm in there. A little feather. Rest of her hair. There you go. Now I don't like his face. That means we're going, we're getting somewhere. Now I like her better than him. So <laughs> it's creating some competition. Now they're kind of like looking at each other like they're flirting, which I don't want. The Saint Sanditon. Okay. We'll have him looking straight outwards. I can see their story being about like, maybe she's the older sister and she's made it her life's goal to get him married, <laughs> but he's just not interested. I don't know if it's for her own gain. I don't know how a man marrying someone would benefit her. So maybe that's not the story, but that's what's going around in my little head. I do think we're getting somewhere. I'm glad I stood her up because her face turned out real nice. I mean, not that it's done, but you know. Ooh, we're gonna figure out this shoulder in here. Um, so she's like holding it, I guess, because she's a controlling sister. <laughs> and um, where do I let him marry who he wants to marry and give them another go? Erasing them really helps me because I can kind of see the old sketch, and then I'm not bogged down by the mistakes, and I can kind of just do a new thing. It looks like he's walking. That doesn't work. <laughs> Lesson that. Now they kind of fit into the page. Without any random like body parts ending right above the end of the page. And she's all polka dotty. This is polka dotty. Then he has a striped coat. He's just not interested in those ladies. <laughs> oh, I like it. That's probably one of the best dudes I've ever drawn. And he's kind of cute. He looks like a little young man. A little young Give him a little uh, pocket watch thing, so we can tell the time. Uh, cute is a little off-centered, so we'll just throw a drape in there. <laughs> okay, now I need to just uh, do a quick little spritz of the desk. Pencil's a dirty business. Need to go ahead and erase everything and then add in the line art. Uh, goodbye. I like the sketch. Shoot, should have taken a picture. Size one. Point zero. Try and keep the line art kind of thick, I guess. Throw in that scarf thing. <laughs> oh, I probably should have went to a smaller line art on the face. Oh, this arm. I guess I would probably cut in front this way. It's not really how I sketched it, but there you have it. Hey, did you see that line? Did you see me do that? <laughs> okay, down here I'm a little worried. I think I'm gonna have to do another pass at sketching on that. I'm trying to like ignore that area. And then we'll move over here. Now, this hand. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. This this little area here. So his shoulder's coming down this way. 
And it comes forward. Probably a little bit of fluff from his shirt. Then his hand can come up like this. Oh, not really any room there. <laughs> then her hand. This one makes sense. I feel like when they hold hands, the arm should be like way farther up. Like this hand. It's almost like it should be coming out like this, but that looks dumb. I'm thinking I'll just just kind of have her holding on to the... Yeah, I think that's what I decided on earlier, actually. So we'll just have her holding the hand. I mean the arm. With a decent amount of grip. <laughs> I think I've got these hands down. Let me throw those in real quick. Oh, I do not know this hand though. I'm worried. Maybe if I had made him holding something, it would have made more sense. Like, like something like that. But I kind of figured he's a younger dude, so I don't know if he would have one of those things. Ooh, see, that looks all right, right there. Problem is there's these lines. Oh, well, here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see what that looks like when I erase the sketch. <laughs> Not great, but I might be able to just use some like Posca pen. And then usually marker works pretty well on top of that. Hey, Ooh, come back. <laughs> I am ready for some color. Actually, it looks like a tree. Whatever, I'm probably not gonna color the background. <laughs> if it is a tree, then we could put like a little bush with strawberries. Up there in England, there's no I don't think they grew strawberries in England. But there you go. Anyway, I'm gonna just color them in. See if all my hard work paid off. So we used red for the dress, red for the dress. I think it was this red. I like it so. What I should be doing is trying to follow the flow of the skirt. That way, if there are streaks, it'll kind of like look like wrinkles or the way the fabric's falling. Okay, then we need... Uh, I think I was using that cashew brown for everything. Because it's the most chocolatey. For the stripes at the bottom. Really get that strawberry vibe going. Oh, we also know that copper is the color of the hair. Okay, now their hair's kind of overlapping, so I'm going to try and add a little red on his to just separate them. Oh shoot, I got it on his face! <laughs> Magic Posca pen, help me. It's red. Or vest is red. Excuse me. Oh, his hat's green. What is going on with this green color? Seems to have died today. I'm gonna leave the green pants for later. Let's move into that jacket. Vertical stripes here. Probably down the sleeves as well. Follow the flow. All right, yeah, there's too much white going on here. So probably gonna have to go greed on the pants. Maybe I can color the back of her head darker. Again, just to separate it from his hair. Blend that out. Gotta add his... Oh, you know what's missing? There's some brown cuffs here. You can't really draw it there, but I'm gonna draw his elbow in there. Now, his pants. Do I make them green? Well, let me just make a mental picture of how this looks now because I kind of like it. All right. There we go. Green pants. <laughs> green pants. <laughs> it's like every fiber of my body is telling me not to make his pants green. <sighs> like, I feel like that is enough green in the picture, but I don't know what other color I would make the pants. I can also make his gloves red. Why not? All right, make the pants green. Goodbye. <laughs> White pants. Add this to the list of markers I need to refill. Oh, this is far worse than I could have imagined. Oh, I didn't color in her gloves. Now the problem we're having here is that these colors are all very close together. That situation again. But I just want to follow thumbnail I made at this point. Just need more of that chocolate covered deliciousness. <laughs> yep, there it is. My finished drawings never look as nice as my sketches. Bring back the sketchbook! I think I just overdid it on the green. Oopsie, what have I done? It's simply not green anymore. Fixed it! Definitely like it better with the white. And this is still kind of like a green because it mixed with the Copic underneath. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Follow up, Bye! Mm -hmm.